Wes, we're ever here. This time, we're camping in a cave on an island in a rainstorm. I'm headed out for another solo adventure, back to the island with the cave. If you remember the last time we went to this island in episode three, it was a nice, warm, sunny day. Today is very different. We're supposed to get some huge rainstorms and what better place to take shelter from the rain than a cave. The sun's already set and the rain is coming in. So we need to get there ASAP. Ah, have the island in sight. Ooh, water's really getting rough here. Ooh, we're surfing it, man. Yeah. It's time to cross open water. If all goes to plan, I'll see y'all on the other side. I have a tugboat attempting to rescue me over there. Bet they're wondering, what in the world is that guy doing? <laughs> Okay, thank you. We're at the green marker. Now let's get to the island. Made it to the island. Might be kind of tricky to find the cave in the dark. Let's do our best. Where is the cave, man? Once we get around this corner, we're too far. I'll turn around here. Ugh. Now we're headed into the wind. There it is. My thought is to try to carry as much of the bulky, heavy stuff up there as we can. And then I'll come back and grab the kayak. Hopefully I can do all this in three trips or less. Sure hope I'm alone. <laughs> wow. So surreal in here. I don't know how we're gonna get the kayak up here. Man. Firewood is really what's taken up a lot of the weight here, so I'm gonna try to get that out first. Do what we can for now. Maybe this is a little bit more manageable now. Oh yeah, that's way easier. Ooh. Still gotta be careful. Ooh. Nice. That was actually an intense workout just to bring all the gear and the kayak up here. Now before I get too comfortable, I need to make sure I'm alone here. Oh, looks like there's already some firewood here. What the? 
I'm just going to assume that that's fake. That's the end down there. Looks like we're alone, except for Mr. Skull over here. This is a fairly deep cave. <laughs> I wasn't the first one here. Literally just heard a rock fall. That's pretty scary. I'm really gonna have to study the ceiling here and make sure that I pick a spot where rocks aren't looking like they're about to fall. I definitely wanna have a campfire going in here, but I need to be really careful not to have all the smoke bellow up into the cave, make it unsafe. Obviously that means the fire should be somewhere close to the entrance. Gonna make use of some of the tinder I found up here. Most of the smoke does appear to be going up and out of the cave, which is good. This is really just gonna add to the coziness of the cave. Even with my best efforts, it does look like smoke is starting to fill the cave. So we're probably gonna have to cut the fire off early or figure something else out. Good morning. Feels good to sleep in. Wasn't bone dry in here like you might think. There are just so many cracks and crevices. Water dripping just almost everywhere throughout the cave. Way better than being outside in that storm though. Let's see what it looks like outside right now. I think it's still raining. Wow. As you can see, it's still plenty wet in here. Lots of water dripping. I decided to set the tent up at the mouth of the cave for a couple of reasons. First, it was pretty level. Second, it seemed like these rocks were a little bit more stable here. Be less likely to have something break off and fall onto me. I got to learn why cave explorers tend to wear helmets. Bang my head a few times on these rocks as I was walking around. Not fun. Someone came here in 1988. That's really something. This is my favorite combination for a quick and packable breakfast. Not too exciting, but it gets the job done. Mission accomplished.